promising myself I have Native to restore it. Yes. And, and the rulers. Now, this, th these books are, I'm guessing, out of print yes. now. Yes. Is there anything being done to republish them? Well, I suppose somebody has to do it somehow. Um, uh, you know, the normal copyright laws will have ex ex expired by a fluctuation of time, so it's probably a good idea to get somebody to publish or somewhere to publish it. Our founding father of Nigeria was the great Herbert Macaulay. What if you can find original writings and book materials on him? How exciting will that be? This is a publication that came out um, when he died, just literally the, the, the month he died after his death. Um, 1946. Written by Isaac Thomas, who was, who was a well-known um, journalist at the time and one of his protégés. So it contains a lot of contemporaneous information about the funeral and um, the mm. life of Herman Macaulay. Mm. Again, it's an original. You keep flicking it like... <laughs> 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 so this is 1946. And, this, and these are very important historical figures. Yes. So here. it has information about people who brought wreaths, what the coffin looked like, or the speeches that Zick gave at the, at the graveside. Yeah. Is there any other book like this that tells the story of Herbert Macaulay? He was, um, not many things were written about him from external sources, so you have to piece him together. Um, I know that Professor Tamano, of the, formerly of the um, University of Lagos, wrote something on him, a very short piece, um, a book about Herbert Macaulay, but he's surprisingly not, not really biographed properly. Mm. Yeah. Sort of critical figure in Absolutely. Nigeria, the making Absolutely. of Nigeria. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then how about this? Um, I can see, I can see um, Herbert Macaulay, Herbert Macaulay. Yeah, those are Herbert Macaulay papers that um, I was able to acquire in copies over time. Um, just being able to piece things together. Um, he, when he died, he donated his library to the National Archives. So some of the papers are still there in some condition or the other, but um, you have to go there to see the originals. One of the landmark events in colonized Nigeria was the famous Igbo women riot which some like to call the Abba Riot. Imagine laying your hands on the original report of the commission set up by the British colonial officers to look into the riot. This is the original report of um, the Abba Commission of Inquiry. Uh, and this, I refer to this a lot in, in the book, uh, The Platter of Gold. Uh, this was published in 1929, hmm. immediately after the... So this is the original report. The, the of, original, of the commission? Original report. Whoa. Um, Whoa, how did you lay your hands on this? I bought this. I bought this. You bought this. I bought this. <laughs> Investigative. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was. I mean, I, I. I was so happy the day I tracked this book down because I'd already started reading, uh, writing the book. Um, yeah. um, Where did you buy this? <laughs> Fill me in. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that offline. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then here, here's some other original material. Regarding the, um, I don't know if you recall the Eleko Eshubayi yes. dispute. Mm -hmm. These were pamphlets that were published in 1909. <laughs> wow. To synthesize people about the oppression that the British were vetting out onto the king of Lagos at the time. So, so, so it was more seditious material at the time, I'm sure. Mm. Containing a letter of appeal from Eshubayi himself. Mm. So this is 19, 1909. This one is slightly later, I suspect. His Excellency, the Governor. Donald Sir. Cameron. Donald Cameron. Hmm. Yeah, he brought this in 1931. Hopefully, this has inspired you to start building a special library. Like the wise man said, it is something important to leave behind for the next generation. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. As always, we'll be happy to get your feedback through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. My name is Olakunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye. <laughs>